it is finally out, people. Uh, Winpon 2.5 beta. Um, yeah, I've been waiting a while now for this. Uh, I'm going to make a tutorial now how to uh, jailbreak using it. Alright, so this is the main screen once you open it up. I uh, pick iPhone, iPod Touch, iPhone 3G. I have the iPhone 3G, so I'm going to pick the 3G. <laughs> Alright, now you pick uh, what firmware you have. I have 2.0.2. .2. Click that. Alright, are you an official uh, a carrier, like Apple approved, like AT&T? I am, so I'm going to click that. If you click no, it's going to jailbreak, on, I mean, it's going to uh, unlock and activate your phone if you're on a 2G iPhone. It won't do it for the 3G, so you don't, if you're on 3G, just click yes, okay? Alright, do you want to use custom boot slash restore logos? And I'm going to click yes. Ooh, alright. Now, now you pick your uh, custom boot logos that you have on your computer. I have mine already. Alright. Uh, this is the one to the left you click to for your boot logo. Um, I made one frozen pineapple thing. Uh, anyway. And then I have a restore logo. And I made that too. Alright. Now I'm going to click next. Now it is making a custom firmware for your phone. Um, yeah, so just wait until that happens. <laughs> All right, now it has made the fu um, custom firmware. Uh, you're going to well, a uh, window is going to pop up. Do you want to enter? Do you want to view the instructions how to enter DFE mode? We'll just click yes for everyone else. I mean, I know how to do it. I've done it a couple times. Alright. These instructions will help you enter DFU mode. Uh, describes all the steps to take place. Uh, just click next. Alright. Uh, now it says connect your device to USB and turn your phone off. Or whatever. Or iPod. If you're using an iPod. Alright. Slide the power off. Yeah, so just waiting for that to turn off. Alright, all right, now my uh, phone turned off, so we're going to hit next to continue. First, you'll see a countdown from 5 to 0 saying beginning the process in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, click next to continue. I mean, that's just telling you when it's going to start. Alright, after the countdown, it will tell you to hold the power button for 5 seconds. You can count. There will be a counter on the screen, but you can count down your own head. Alright, press next to continue. And then you're going to hold the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds. Don't let go of the power button, though. Just go right to holding down the home button as well for another, for just 10 seconds. Uh, Alright. Uh, release the power button, and after the 10 seconds, release the power button, and then hold just the home button for 30 seconds. And then keep pressing the home button until the DFU mode is entered. Press next to continue. If you fail to enter DFU mode, the device picture will show the image to the right, which is a iPhone with a question mark on it. Alright, press next to close this window. Next. Alright, is your iPhone 3G turned off and connected to USB? Yes, it is. Alright. Ready to start pawnage. Prepare pressing buttons. Alright, okay to continue. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to hold the power button for five seconds, three, two, one, then go hold the home button, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release the power button, just hold the home button. I'm just going to hold it, I'm going to tell you when I release it, just keep holding it. Alright, just keep holding it until 
this message did pop up, just keep holding on to it. Alright, now you can let go of the home button. Once you get the message, please use iTunes to restore your iPhone or yeah, iPhone or iPod with a custom IPSW now. You may now let go of the home button. So yeah, when you get that message you can let go. And on the iPhone screen or iPod touch, so ready to restore custom IPSW. Alright, now you're gonna go into iTunes. So iTunes. Alright, uh, iTunes has detect detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Alright, so we're going to hit Shift Restore. And you're going to find your custom firmware in your document section. At least I did. Uh, you may have to look around for it. I believe it's just going to show up in documents. That's where mine came. Alright, it's going to say custom before it says iPhone and then all the other information for restore. Alright, open that up and it is extracting the software. So it's going to restore it to the custom firmware that it made. Well, custom IPSW. So I'll show you when that happens. Alright, now yeah, it's done that. And it's going to show up. It's just rebooting now. Uh, it's going to show up in your iTunes now. Any day. Alright. There you go. Now I just picked it up. Alright, there we go. It picked it up and uh, now you want to, if you make, you should have made a restore, uh, I'll mention that in the beginning of the video, you should have made a backup before you did this. Now my backup's all corrupted for some reason so I'm just going to set up as a new iPhone.